one who wants this thing over more than I do. You know, I'd like my life back. I'm responsible for Heathrow Airport and we've had a crisis in the last few days. We live in a multimedia 24-7 digital world where news travels fast. Those behind the camera and behind the microphone have years of experience in dealing with interview scenarios. Often those being interviewed are very new to the media circus. Well, having years of experience in both the business and the media, the PS programme's coaches are very aware of how much damage can be caused by a poorly executed TV appearance. And PS programmes aims to equip business executives and other senior management teams and independent experts with the toolkit they require to conduct various broadcast scenarios with confidence and also avoid the negative press. Well, we're at Associated Press's central London television studios, and they're fantastic studios. You've got five main studios, a couple of edit suites, the master control room, and a couple of makeup rooms. But it's where they're positioned, isn't it, Rashid? Right in the heart of London. Right in the heart of London. It makes it easy for guests. And what we've got here is a state of the art facility that mimics the real situation that you're going to face when you're on TV. These are actual TV studios. Well, we do four interview scenarios. The first one is the two-way, which involves a client and the presenter, and that's really getting them used to the studio setup of answering questions, typically a four or five minute interview, on an area that hopefully will warm them up and get them used to that studio environment. Because let's face it, it's a hostile environment for many people facing a studio for the first time. They then get to see that played back with their other clients as well and obviously feedback which is invaluable to them and it's feedback on the content and their style. And the second interview that we do is something called Soundbite. And what is a soundbite? Well typically it's 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds if you're lucky, of you being interviewed as part of maybe a news package and it's really learning the art to hone in your message. So what's your core statement? What's that key message that you want to give to the audience? And that's what we're really concentrating on. Now the third interview scenario is down the line and that gives the clients that sense of isolation. You're looking directly down the camera lens. You're in a small studio and that's it, just you and the camera and you've got an earpiece and your interview takes place isolated by yourself. And that's really hard to look relaxed interested, compelling, as well as remembering to look down the, the camera lens. And then the last fourth interview that we do on a typical TV media training day is a three-way and that involves the client, a presenter and then one of the coaches pretending to be another guest. And we introduce an element of conflict or a slightly differing opinion to what the client may be coming up with. So that gets them used to the idea of being a part of a panel discussion within a studio. And after all of that, all of their interviews end up on a DVD which they get to take home with them at the end of the day. This has been immensely valuable today. Uh, I came to the, to the event with a certain amount of experience in the media and, um, and I'd learned as I'd gone along and this has given me ten times as much confidence and real insights as to how to work effectively in that environment. It's a skill that I think that um, people can benefit from and you never know, you could be just minding your own business and then suddenly find yourself in this situation without warning but without this sort of training I think there's a danger that you could fall flat on your face. Crisis media management is a really important aspect because sooner or later a business and organisation is going to have to deliver some bad news and if it's done in a concise effective way where it's informative and it's not emotive it can really help push the brand through the bad times, make the organisation appear to be empathetic with the, the audience but at the same time not in a crisis and that in itself is a valuable resource for any business to have. Well our training programmes are aimed at anyone likely to find themselves in the media spotlight either by design or by circumstance. I mean, typically business execs are likely to want to use the media especially to announce say positive year-end results but ironically, these are the likely candidates that get pursued by the press when results are negative. So they need to be able to conduct themselves and represent their organisations equally well in both scenarios. 
ensure anyone inexperienced in front of camera who wants to strengthen their confidence in the news environment or anyone required to comment to the media about any potentially contentious issue would also benefit from PS programmes. What people will leave here with, they feel far more clear, they feel far more confident, they're able to do it, they've seen that they're able to do it and therefore they're far more well placed to deliver these clear, compelling, crisp interviews, whatever the scenario is. Mm -hmm.